Why are you filming that coffee mug? It is a beautiful coffee mug, Alexander. To anyone else in this world, it's nothing but a simple coffee mug. But you've always seen things differently. So have you, Alexander. I visited Ashley this past weekend again. Well, you were at your mother's. Again? You've been missing her more, haven't you? Uh, yeah. You'd think with her being gone for two years now, I'd get used to it. But she really did mean everything to me. And, and Freya, she looks just like her. Alexander, you know as well as I do, the essence of death is never simply erased. Yes. We learned that in the war, didn't we? Oh! I'm sorry, guys. It's, it's Freya. It's all right. My camera's okay. Dad, are you okay? Alexander? Freya, is your mother with you? Dad... Alexander, would you like some tea? You love tea. Green tea, chai tea, iced tea. What would you like? G green tea sounds delightful. Thank you. Carton should have known better than to come in like that. I appreciate you staying with him. He cares about you very much. It's like you're the son he's never had. When you're killing men together in a field of bullets and frag grenades, the connection you make is one that cannot be measured, Freya. I don't think it's killing when neither of you sign up for it. The dictionary defines the word kill as to deprive something in any manner. Therefore, I think everyone in this world is a killer, even if you don't use bullets and grenades. Quote the dictionary all you want. You'll never be a killer to me. What about Alexander? He didn't mean to kill Ashley. She snuck up behind him when he was slicing apples. She should have known better. At least we could play it off as suicide. I think even Dad believes it so sometimes. When was the last time you visited her? A year and a half. Alexander has been visiting her almost every weekend. I think I'd like to go if you'd come with me. I, I think I would. Did you know my mother well? Not really, but Alexander always carried around a photograph of the two of you. She seemed like a nice lady, though. <laughs> she was. Did you carry around any photos during the war? I carried the same picture your father did. He lost his one day, but he had a backup. I found the one he lost, and he told me to keep it for good luck. Dad never told me that. I still carry it. Here it is. Is this why you take pictures? So you can forever own the people you hold dear? Partly, I guess. I can show you why later. It's not something I can completely explain. You know, I'll never understand you. You know that, right? Indeed so. <sighs> oh, those regrettable teenage years. I used to think you looked pretty. <laughs> <laughs> used to? Excuse you! <sighs> uh, and look how young she was. Are you going to go visit her now? Be quiet. This is Alexander's nap time. You're far too good for my father. I need him just as much as he needs me. Why won't you tell me the answer to why you take so many photographs? A picture is worth a thousand words. A thousand words I cannot find to say to you. How come you film everything if you only take photographs from them? Then I can stop at the exact instances, the exact moment of muscle movement. 
It's as if I'm freezing time and hoarding it for myself. They're beautiful. There's lots of reasons for taking pictures, aren't there? Yes. If there's one thing I learned from the war, tis this. Everything dies. Every flower, every grain of sand, every son, every daughter, every mother. It's all going to fade away from me. Therefore, we must cherish it. When man has made bullets, bombs, poison machines, and when corruption rules the earth, how are we supposed to know when the people we love are going to leave us behind? I wonder what you were like before you were drafted, before you saw the killing. A teenager, and nothing more than that. I still think you're beautiful, Freya. I cherish you. Yes. But I don't see any pictures of you up here. I'm always behind the camera. Although, sometimes I wish someone would photograph me. Give me your camera.